keep like like keep each other focused because it ain't it, it this is this is hard climbing to the top is hard like you gonna get frustrated you gonna get knocked down sometime but it's what it is that's why we have this community of power move makers so check it y'all because i don't want to keep y'all too long and you know i've just got through talking about it gets hard y'all like real talk it really does and last week in particular I was going through, you know, sometimes you just have one of them moments. Sometimes you just have one of them, 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 them days that just knock you down. It just makes you feel like, yo, why am I putting in all this work? What am I doing this for? I'm not seeing the results. Things are not going the way I planned for them to go. It just feels like no matter how hard I push, I'm not moving forward. And if I am moving forward, it just ain't fast enough it ain't it ain't at the speed that i would like to see it and i reached out to one of my great friends and um she is you know one of my trusted oldest friends she's also uh more like a spiritual confidant for me and i gave her a call now she's a professional as well she comes from the the, the field of accounting and she made the switch and she's doing ministry in her life so kind of me and her her trajectories we, we, we we're doing the same thing where we're making these career switches and i'm just sitting there and i'm talking to her and i'm just telling her the god's honest truth i'm just like you know what you know on any other day i'm good but for whatever reason today i just woke up and i just feel like yo what the freak like like why is this taking so long like what is the point i'm pushing and i'm pushing and i'm pushing and i just don't feel like this thing is moving and, you know, she sat back and she listened to me. And, you know, just truth be told, me and her spoke a few days before. And she was telling me, like, yo, Sean, you know, I, I finally things are starting to take off for me. I'm about to open up a new office space and I'm going to set up shop in the hood because I really want to minister to a bunch of the, the, the youth and the adults in the hood. So I'm happy for her and I can see her really progressing. But on my side, I'm like, yo, it just be like, damn, like when is this gonna happen? So I'm just sitting there and I'm pouring my heart out to her like, yo, look, tomorrow I'm gonna be good. Today I just need a pick me up. And she said, you know, Sean, why are you doing this? Like, like for real, for real, why are you doing this? So I told her the same thing I've been saying. I'm like, look, I'm living my purpose like th this is this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now this minute this is what I'm supposed to be doing and I know things are not going as great as I would like them to go but for me there ain't no turning back I can't like I can't even conceive of turning back like I can't even conceive of tapping out but no matter what I'm doing doors are just not opening the way I want them to open and she sat there and she listened and she's like you know what if you're doing your life's purpose then maybe it's ego you're dealing with and I was like yo what do you mean by that like what ego like I like how could you even say something like that she was like well in my case I do ministry and yes I would like to be ministering to larger audiences yes i would like to be traveling and doing what i believe god called me to do seven days a week but it takes time i'm 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 ministering to people in one neighborhood i'm ministering to people who i come in contact with locally so maybe yes you're doing your purpose you you're living your purpose but maybe it's your ego you're dealing with and I turned it back on her and I'm like, yo, I just don't understand that. I don't even know how you could say something like that to me because is it not okay for me? I've been grinding and I've been going hard at this and I've been doing everything I know how to do. Can I not just want to see some returns? Like, is, is that okay? Can I not see some returns on the investment that I made into this whole speaking thing? How could that possibly be ego? And honestly speaking, I've done everything that I could possibly do. I said, to, I don't even know what else I can do. Right now, I'm just at the mercy. I just don't know what else to do. And she says, Sean, you know what? <clears throat> I'm going to leave you on this. She said, number one, God can use anybody to bless you. 
anybody. I'm like, that ain't quite the answer I was looking for. She was like, right now, you're just in the ground. You're in the ground. You plant a seed, and sometimes you don't see what it's going to become. Yes, it's cold. Yes, you under the soil right now. Yes, one day you be, will become and blossom into that thing you've always wanted to be. But you're in the ground right now. Do you understand that? She was like, if you are truly doing your purpose and you're doing God's work, said, listen to me, go out there and just handle God's business. And he's going to handle yours. And I was like, what? She was like, all you got to do, you just told me, you've done everything you can do. You don't even know what else to do. You know you're living your purpose, so go handle God's business and let him handle yours. And no more than 24 hours later, I'm doing what I normally do. I get up, I post a few things, I get to work, I study, I make sure that I'm doing everything that I can do to become a better speaker. And I hit Instagram and I see this post from my man, Ray Daniels, big wig exec in the music industry. And he's driving around listening to an interview that I did a few weeks ago. And he's like, tag me on it. Like, yo, this is my favorite podcast out there. Y'all need to get on it. And in that moment, I'm like, yo, I'm thinking about her. God can use anybody to bless you. I wasn't expecting that. And just that one little thing, him reposting, he got something like 40,000 followers, which is way more than what I got. But that one little thing was just validation showing anybody, God can use anybody at any time to bless you. And then a day after that, I get a call from a good friend of mine and she just hit me on a check-in. And this is literally right before her and her husband was going on vacation this weekend. And she said, you know what, Sean? I just want to tell you, I stopped in and I've seen her here on this live before. And she's like, yo, I stopped in and I just need to tell you how inspired I am just by watching you. How inspired you make me feel. How inspired when I see you, I, she was like, you know what, Sean, they don't know you like I know you. I've been knowing you for over 20 years. And it's always amazing to me how anything that you say, anything, you wake up one day and say, look, I want to do this. And all of a sudden, you just have the guts to go after it. You wake up and say, I want to do that. And you get laser focused and take the initiative and go out there and make it happen. She said, I remember speaking to you about two years ago and you said, I want to inspire people. I want to educate people. I want to motivate people. She said, and I turn on IG live and I see you up there. And yes, you not, you don't have the biggest audience, but for me, just seeing you, you said it and you're doing it. And I'm a person who I, I'm, I'm a lawyer and I got this incredible job. I got the corner office. I got everything that from the outside looking in, people would say she's got it all figured out. She's got the perfect life. But she was like, yo, I want to start my own practice. And when I look at you, the fact that you're just doing it, the fact that you're committed to doing exactly what you said you were going to do, it inspires me. But, you know, Sean, I am just scared. I'm fearful jumping out there the way that you jump out there. It ain't as easy as you make it seem, but I want people to know that ever. She was like, it, it would be, it would be my pleasure to let everybody know everything that this man preaches. He lives everything that this man talks about. Go out there. Don't worry about fear. Make it happen. She was like, I'm watching you and you're doing it. And it's so inspiring to me. And it got me to thinking, y'all. It got me to, th because I'm looking at this thing. I'm praying in my heart and in my soul, and I make it very clear. I'm coming for the number one spot. That's what I'm doing this for. But when I got those two confirmations, one guy saying that this is my 
favorite podcast out there. Y'all need to get on it. She's telling me that, Sean, you inspire me. I am a lawyer. And just watching you jump out the window and go and bowl to the wall for your dream, I'm so inspired. I had to change my prayer. I had to sit and look myself in the mirror and say, God, Sean, are you really, really focused and zoned in what God called you to do? You sitting here talking about you want to be the biggest and you want to be the best that ever did it. But God just told you, get out there and share your story. That's all he told you to do. So is the 20 people that listen to you week over week in live, is that any less valuable than being on stage and there's 20,000 people listening to you? Focus. Right now, he is using you. And I had to think to myself, like, you know what? This thing is about serving. This thing is about being obedient. This thing is about, yes, I answer that call. Yes, when, when that inner voice was in me saying, Sean, this is what you, yes, I answered the call. But how God uses you, that's up to him. And we get so focused on what we want. We get so focused on what we think the outcome should be. And we don't realize that we are inspiring people along the way. And it doesn't matter if it's a crowd of two. It don't matter if it's a crowd of 10. Just you doing, answering that call, being obedient to the process, never giving up. Don't you understand that you are making a difference? And that's why it's so important. Some of y'all, I know y'all got to be, if I'm sitting here and I'm pouring my heart out and I'm telling y'all, I'm going through this. I know some of y'all have been working and going after things for a long time. And it just feel like it ain't going to never happen. Well, maybe it ain't supposed to happen the way you think it's supposed to happen. Maybe God is using you for a whole other purpose. Maybe you are affecting people's lives and he's using you right where you are. 20 people in this room right now. But am I supposed to show up and be anything less than great? Am I supposed to show up and do anything less than what my assignment is? My assignment is to come and to inspire. And I don't care if it's one person in here. I'm coming to give it and I'm giving it 100% every chance I get. It doesn't matter because today, today is two people. Today is 20 people. Today is 50 people. But what about when it's a million people? Can you say I went hard when nobody was looking? Can you say I went hard and I affected so many lives um, along the way? I sit and I think, and I don't ever want to compare myself, but I was thinking even as I was coming up and like, yo, what will, will I really speak about this week? I mean, I'm thinking about the apostles. They went out and changed the world. God told them to go out and spread the gospel. That, that was their assignment. They didn't have large platforms. They didn't have big audiences. They, they were going in small groups and they were just doing what they were supposed to do. And they spread that word all around the world. So for any of you guys, stay at it. Stay at it because the, 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 just because you're doing what you think God told you to do. Maybe he's using you for a whole different purpose. Maybe you're affecting somebody else's life that you don't even realize this moment. And you so fig focused on, I'm going to do my way. I'm going to get it my way. Am I still coming for the crown? You absolutely right. But if my purpose is to affect a few people here, a few people there along the way, then God, I'm your servant. Use me. And I sit and I think about my brother-in-law, my girl's brother, right? And I, I, I look at this guy and I'm inspired because he's a guy who has made a commitment to be the best father and the best husband he can be. I ain't never seen nobody step up and be a husband and a father like this man. This man does it all. He got two daughters. The man cooks. He cleans. He sews. He's taking them kids every weekend. The softball. He's making sure that they have um personal training. Just all kinds of things. And he doesn't realize just him staying committed to being the best that he can be. He inspires me. 
He inspires me. One of my favorite shows, a show that I that I watch, and and you wouldn't think that this show would have an effect on anybody, right? Is the six hundred my six hundred pound life? And you're looking at these people, and they're overweight, and 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 they have really they they're morbidly obese, and they have really put themselves in a place to where it is life and death. And for them, yes. It's, it's great to look at videos and you see people like C.T. Fletcher or you see people like The Rock and they up there lifting every weight in the gym. But do you know what it is to not be able to take a step because your joints hurt? Do you know what it is not to be able to stand up or some of them people have been bedridden for years on end and to see them change their mindset, to see them make a decision and say, you know what? I'm going to change my life and to follow their journey. I'm sure that they have no idea that their commitment, their commitment to just changing their life is affecting me, is affecting somebody they've never met, somebody they have no idea that I'm even talking about them. But I look at these shows and I'm like, you know what? They are doing it. So what is my excuse? Some of them can't walk. Some of them can't even get out the bed, but they're doing it. And I'm telling y'all, and I'll close it on this. Show up every day when you think nobody's looking, when you don't even know if you have taken a step forward in the last year. Keep showing up because your presence, it makes a difference, y'all. It makes a difference. Just you being like, if you were removed from the equation, somebody would be looking like I missed this person. I'm hurting. Show up every day. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dreams. I know I'm doing this video from a car and I'm gonna continue to do these lives from a car. Long after I become worldwide, worldwide known, I'm gonna continue. But the point is, I have to keep showing up because I didn't even realize I was making a difference out there. And if I'm not making a difference to a million people today, you can best believe when this thing is all said and done, I'm going to be making a difference to a million people. But you got to do the same. Don't give up on yourselves. Don't give up on your dream. We move as guys. We move together. Let's rely on each other. Let's continue continue to spread this energy amongst each other you have to continue to show up because you do make a difference movers i pray to god that um i said something something that's going to inspire y'all tonight i pray to god that i said something that is going to to do with what, what my friend did for me just take one more step. That's it. Wake up tomorrow and keep going at this thing. God can use anybody to bless you. And if you're doing his work, sit back and relax. Because he's going to take care of your work. Peace and love, y'all. Check out that Brad Furman interview. And um, catch y'all all next week. Peace and love. Keep making power moves, y'all. One love.